Hello everybody, me again. Some of you might have noticed, I've had a haircut. I've got a little trim going on. Always feel a little bit better when you've had a good haircut. I'm looking a bit smart now. I was all a bit scraggly in the last few videos. So, what are we doing today? We're talking about pricing jobs and how much you should be looking at pricing jobs. Now, this is just a guideline. This is how I do things. You might have different systems, but I'm hoping this will help, especially for those people who are really struggling to to either make money, enough money, or actually win jobs. So if you're winning every job you bid on, you're probably bidding too low. Uh, and you're not making un as much profit as you could be. So that's it's good that you're getting the work, but in the long run, it's going to harm you because you're not making enough profit. And that's the name of the game. If you're bidding on loads of jobs and you're just not winning them, you're probably bidding too high or you're doing something wrong in your process. So we're going to look at that. So first of all, if you go on the CX um, to the where the forum is, and there's like a information guide, you go on the information guide, type in price, and there'll be a link that tips comes up with price guide. That is what the CX thinks you should be charging per mile, or the average, I think it figures out, of what jobs have gone per mile for every van. So that's helpful. So if you if you want a guideline, go on there, print it off, by all means use it. Mine's roughly the same. I'm about 510p either way. But the way I work it out as is small vans, 65 to 75p per mile. Short wheelbase, 75 to 85p. Medium wheelbase, 85p to 95p. Long wheelbase pound uh, to a pound 10. Extra long wheelbase, 10. Extra long wheelbase, pound 10 to about pound 20. Um, and then Luton's pound 20 minimum, pound 30, pound 40. Now that's not the be all and end all. There's more to it than that. So for instance, if you're going to the ultra low emission zones in London, it's like 24 pound. You're not paying that. You put that on top. So let's say it's an extra long wheelbase. It's 100 miles. It'd usually be 100 quid would be what you're looking at. You put that 24 on top, so 124. I think it's 124. Uh, I think it's 24. You'll have to correct me. I've, I've done it two, three times, but I just pay it, and I haven't really paid that much attention to it. Um, the also, the other thing is, um, let's say 100 miles again, long wheelbase, 100 pound, but you got two drops on the way. So I would put a bit more, you know, put maybe a tenner a drop, look at 120, maybe even more, depending on what it is, because you've got to stop, and that's time you're losing. You've got to stop, you've got to get that bit unloaded, you might have to wait around a bit. So you can't really turn around after your price and go, oh, well, I, was, I had these two stops, but I was there longer than I thought. It's actually more money. It doesn't quite work like that. So build that into your price. Think, well, it's 100 miles, but I've got to stop there. I'll put another tenner on top, put another 20 quid on top. And that's generally how I figure things out. Also, you've got to think, you know, if you're going a long way out of your way to get the job, maybe put a little bit extra on just in case. You know, you might not win the job. If there's a job that comes up that you really don't really want to do is taking you away from home or it's, you know, you, you know the job and it's a difficult one, put the amount of money you want to put on for the job. So let's say it's 100 miles again, but you're like, I really don't want to, don't want to do that. Put 140 down. Because if it turns around and you get the job, it's a win-win. You don't get the job. Oh, well, it's a job I didn't really want. You do get the job. Well, I've got, I'm making good money on it. So that's the way I figure them out. Also, handballing. If it's if it says handballing, straight away more money because it's going to take time and effort. If you've got 50 boxes you've got to get off and you've got to walk them down, you know, anywhere, it takes more time. So you put a bit more on for the handballing. I've had a job. I, ch I, I bid for it. I bid per mile. I, my mistake, I didn't look and it said handballing and I got there and I was lifting boxes of TVs up to like the third floor and I had to carry them up the stairs and it took me like an hour. So I lost an hour. I should have put more money on that job. But that was my mistake. You learn from your mistakes. So that's how you should be looking at pricing. Obviously, there's a, you know if, you, if it's a job going home and you really want it, put a bit less, by all means. If you've made your money for the day and you're in London and you want to go to you know Leicester and it should be, let's say, £80, but you're thinking, I just want... Put 50 quid if you need to. Get your petrol money. Get your money for the day. So that's how you should be looking at it. Break down the job when it comes up. Right, how far is it? That's my base price. Is there anything extra on board? I'm hoping this has helped a little bit. 
I don't know. <laughs> if it has, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, it's great to hear from you. I'm starting to get more and more comments through from people asking questions. If I don't answer you, but I have been trying to answer everyone in the comments, if I don't answer you, I'll do a video on it at some point, and it, or maybe I've already done a video on it. So I'll try and answer everything. That's what I'm. <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully this has been helpful. Like I said, leave leave a comment if you want me to do a video on something specific, and I'll try and get to it as soon as possible. Um, so be safe out there, and have a great day.